coming up on this edition of Access Virginia Beach. Police, fire, and first responders train for the worst in an active shooter exercise. We'll take you inside the action. Plus, parking is now just a swipe away. We'll show you a new way to feed the meters at the oceanfront. And the school board approves the city's first public charter school. That and more are coming up as we access Virginia Beach. Hello and welcome to VBTV's Access Virginia Beach, a program that informs you of news and events from around our city and schools. I'm Mickey Sato. Thanks for joining us. The first public charter school in the city is set to open its doors in September with a focus on college readiness. The Virginia Beach School Board formally approved the charter school application for Green Run Collegiate at its April 9th meeting. It was the final step in a process that included a review by the Virginia Board of Education Charter School Committee and the Virginia School Board. Green Run Collegiate will be housed in Green Run High School and will offer two effective and research-based college preparatory programs, the International Baccalaureate Programs and the Advancement via Individual Determination, or AVID. GRC will enroll up to 109th graders in September and one grade level will be added each year until the school reaches a capacity of 400 students in grades 9 to 12 at the start of the 2016 school year. Enrollment forms will soon be available online and in schools. Green Run Collegiate is open to all Virginia Beach students and you can find out more at vbschools.com or greenruncollegiate.com. It's every parent's worst nightmare. A gunman has entered your child's school. Emotions skyrocket as you make those frantic phone calls. You just don't know what to do. Law enforcement officials recently held a large-scale training exercise involving an active shooter so that they'll know exactly how to respond. Shots have been fired, ear-piercing emergency sirens are wailing, and officers are on their way to the school, all part of a mock disaster drill at one local middle school. This planning has been going on over a year, so in, in Within the time of our planning, we had Sandy Hook occur. So unfortunately, it's been very timely that we've been doing this. So at Corp we picked Corporate Landing Middle School. It's a very large middle school. Um, and we conducted a full active shooter exercise. The purpose of this exercise is to evaluate emergency response to an incident involving an active shooter. Got a man down here, got bodies out the way. Talk to me, anybody know where stairs is? Since Columbine, Virginia Tech, and just mentioned Sandy Hook, emergency management officials have been preparing officers, local and federal, through active shooter trainings. These school shootings taught officials that, in some cases, they couldn't afford to wait for a SWAT team to arrive before confronting a gunman. We involved local, state, and federal. Um, we had all of our public safety agencies involved, plus we had the FBI, Virginia State Police, we had uh, Navy Region Mid-Atlantic Fire and Rescue also participate. 300 representatives from those agencies took part in the exercise. These types of mock disaster drills have proven helpful in the past. I think the biggest thing that will help with is that, that, that command and control, that communication. Um, it happened with the jet crash. We did the exercise and four months later we had the, the actual jet crash, but everybody knew each other. And I think that's extremely important that you're not meeting people when you're walking onto a scene, especially a scene such as this. And with so many agencies participating, emergency planners have a better understanding of how things need to be calculated. And all the public safety agencies participating, we could identify where we needed to work a little bit harder and getting that communication stream better. Um, so overall, I really was looking forward to seeing where our gaps were in our plans and really identifying what we needed to work on and where we're doing great. Public information is a critical step in handling these situations. We certainly found that, that city and, and schools, PIOs, public information officers really work well together in achieving that, that ultimate objective. The purpose of the exercise was to measure the performance of these agencies' capabilities. After the exercise, Police Chief Cervera said he was happy with the officers' reactions. They were quick to respond and did a good job adjusting. 
Of course, when emergencies arise, it's not only critical for rescuers to respond quickly, those in need have to know how to call for help. April is National 911 Education Month, and here are a few tips you can use when calling 911. Know where you are. Be prepared to give 911 operators your exact location. Stay calm and be ready to listen. 911 is there to help you until rescuers arrive. Follow their directions. Don't hang up. If you call and receive a message that they are assisting other callers, stay on the line. Finally, if you accidentally call 911, remain on the line to tell them. If you hang up, they will have to call back. This month-long campaign is designed to help citizens understand the importance of 911 and their role when calling. For more info, log on to the website listed on your screen. No more scavenging around for spare change. Parking at the oceanfront just got easier. All city parking meters, lots, and garages now accept credit and ATM cards. Access reporter Jeff Barnaby shows us how to feed the meters step by step. The City of Virginia Beach has installed multi-space meters in several locations in the oceanfront area. These meters provide the option to use a credit card as well as coins. To use this model, once you've parked, check the space number. At the meter, wake up the meter by pressing any button. Press 1 to start the payment process. Enter the space number where you parked. Press the pound key. To pay with coins, deposit money in the slot provided. Press the green button to complete the transaction and take your receipt. Your receipt shows the expiration time. To pay with a credit card, press 1 to start the payment process. Enter the space number where you parked and press the pound key. Slide your card into the machine. Add or delete time by pressing the blue buttons. Press the green button to complete the transaction and take your receipt. And to make your parking experience even better, later this spring the city will be unveiling two smartphone apps that will help you find open parking spots and pay from your phone. Listen up, parents. Got a student graduating in the class of 2013? Have you been thinking about furthering their education? How about funding to help ease the burden of ever-increasing college expenses? Well, the Virginia Beach Schools Division Scholarship Central can be your wallet's best friend. It's the one-stop shop for all your scholarship needs. The Scholarship Central site offers an easy way to search for local and national scholarship awards. The site lists deadlines, requirements, and application information. And, of course, the scholarship amount. Virginia Beach graduates from the class of 2012 accepted more than $32 million in scholarships. Now it's your turn to take a piece of the pie. Log on to vbschools.com to search for savings. Since opening their doors back in December of 2011, the Virginia Beach Animal Care and Adoption Center has not only provided citizens with a state-of-the-art adoption-friendly shelter, but it has done so while reducing their carbon footprint. We are pleased to present this to you along with the uh, lead silver plaque for the Virginia Beach Animal Control and Adoption Facility. The shelter was recently recognized for their sustainability efforts with a LEED Silver certification. Green features include rain harvesting, a geothermal heating and cooling system, solar hot water heaters, and energy recovery ventilators. All of this equates to savings. We're letting the Earth's natural resources do the work for us. I mean, the groundwater is replenishable, the, this, the sun's energy is, is out there. Um, but the main thing is it saves the taxpayers money on our heating bills, on our air conditioning bills, you know, our power, our electrical usage, and then, the, uh, of course, the natural gas usage. Shelter employees are pleased with the building and citizen response. We've adopted out a animal every day. We've been open for adoption since we moved in here, which, of course, was a huge difference from Leroy. Uh, that place was back off the beaten path, um, and we didn't quite have the, the people traffic in there. The shelter is located in the SeaTac area of the city on Birdneck Road. For shelter hours and adoption info, log on to vbgov.com slash animal control. Coming up next on this edition of Access Virginia Beach, find out how this mock drunk driving scene turns into a sobering experience for these high school students. Plus, see how one school is putting the brakes on texting. We'll have that and more when we return.
Virginia Beach Schools Parent Connection is your one-stop resource for information and events which support families and promote student success. Computers are like cars. They perform better when they're regularly tuned and maintained. Join the Parent Connection Technology Academy at the ATC Theater for PC Maintenance, Wednesday, April 24th from 7 to 9 p.m. to learn some simple things that you can do on a regular basis to keep your system running and in good shape. This hands-on class will take you through the process step-by-step step and show you some great free and safe programs to assist you in your maintenance. The class is free, but registration is required by calling 263-1936. Parents of children identified as gifted. Do you worry that your child isn't performing to his or her potential? Well, you aren't alone. Learn how to identify distractions to accomplishment and strategies to motivate and support your child. Join Parent Connection for a gifted information night Wednesday, May 1st from 6.30 to 8 o'clock p.m. at Virginia Beach Middle School. Bring your laptop or tablet to access an online tool and other resources. Parents, we all know the importance of raising children in a warm and caring home where they can thrive and become respectful and cooperative. Join CHKD for the Nurturing Parenting Series beginning May 1st, 6.30 to 8 p.m. at the CHKD Brick House Auditorium in Norfolk. Learn how to understand your parenting roles, behavior encouragement techniques, and learn how to recognize and meet your own needs. This six-week series of classes sponsored by the Coles Cares Family Forum is free, but you must register separately for each class. Register online at the address on your screen or call 668-7402 for more information. To learn more about these activities or to see a complete calendar of events, visit the Parent Connection page of vbschools.com. Welcome back to Access Virginia Beach. I'm Mickey Asado. The resort city is known for its sand, sun, and surf. But did you know that during the warmer months, it's also home to hundreds of bottlenose dolphins? Access reporter Stephanie Sutton takes us on a cruise that brings us up close and personal with these magnificent marine mammals. Well, this is the Virginia Aquarium Rudy Tours Dolphin Watch. We take people out to try to educate them about the dolphins out in the wild. It takes about one twentieth of a second for them to be able to take a breath. It's that time of year again, dolphin watching season. Catch an up-close encounter with Atlantic bottlenose dolphins in their natural habitat. A lot of people don't have the opportunity to be able to see these animals, so we tell them about their habits or what they feed on, the size that they get, why they're in this area during this time of year, and different items about the, just the general behavior of the bottlenose dolphin. The Virginia Aquarium hosts the 90-minute coastal adventure, which is fun and educational for children and adults. I hope that they learn a little bit more about the marine environment um, and some of the um, fun things about the dolphins and some of the maybe the sadder things about the dolphins so that they can help make the um, marine life a little happier. These guys are common visitors to Virginia Beach, but the best time to spot them is during the summer months. We don't anticipate dolphins here year-round. Um, normally we see them from about May through October. However, the past few years we have had a few show up on our well watch trips. <laughs> they also get one set of teeth. Volunteers from the aquarium are also on board, giving various demonstrations. But the best part? The dolphin sightings, of course. It was awesome. This is my second time on it, and it was amazing. Tons of dolphins. Sound like fun? Well, you can purchase tickets here at the Virginia Beach Fishing Center, at the aquarium, or by calling 385-0317. Reporting for VBTV, I'm Stephanie Sutton. The trips are now running every day except for Mondays and Tuesdays. Boats depart from the fishing center at Rudy Inlet. For times and ticket prices, log on to virginiaaquarium.com or call 385-FISH. Both nationwide and in the city, there's an ever-growing population of people suffering from dementia and Alzheimer's. Many people diagnosed tend to wander away from their home. Now, thanks to a new partnership, better service will be provided to those at risk. 
I want to thank the fire department for partnering with us on this very worthwhile project. Beach Police, in partnership with the fire department, announced the expansion of Virginia Beach Project Lifesaver, an electronic tracking program that helps find people who wander from home or become lost. 250 fire department certified members are now fully trained and able to help support the Project Lifesaver program. In addition, six of the city's fire stations are now service points for the program. Now residents can come to their local fire station and if they're having trouble with their equipment, they can take advantage of the service and visit their local fire station. They will be able to have their battery changed, um, service the equipment, or answer any questions that the uh, client may have. Future plans for the program include adding six more fire stations later this year, allowing even greater service for citizens. We're in the life-saving business. In any way we can help contribute to the program, we felt like it's important. And in our, our job is to help support the police department in those searches, staffing, keeping the equipment up. For more information on Project Lifesaver, call 385-2742 or log on to vbgov.com. Do you worry that your child isn't performing to his or her potential? Are you frustrated by your child's lack of effort in their classes? Well, the Office of Gifted Education and Curriculum Development is conducting a motivation workshop Wednesday, May 1st from 6.30 to 8 p.m. As part of the 90-minute session, parents will be introduced to an online site designed to help them understand, influence, and motivate bright and gifted children. In addition, workshop presenters will remain after the session to answer questions about the online tool. The Motivation Workshop will be held at Virginia Beach Middle School. For more information, contact the Office of Gifted Education at 263-1405. Those participating are encouraged to bring your own devices so you can navigate the site during the session. Every 15 minutes, someone dies because of an alcohol-related collision. Those numbers are scary to think about, but true. In fact, hundreds of teenagers are killed each year in drunk driving accidents. You're up. You're up. Karen! Karen! The police department is hoping to cut down on those numbers by shocking students with exercises like this one. Do you realize? Look at this! I'll, I'll look down for just a second. Students from First Colonial High School are both watching and participating in this emotionally charged program every 15 minutes. The Every 15 Minutes program is an anti-alcohol, um, anti-drunk driving program that um, has been in Virginia Beach since 1999. By staging a mock drunk driving crash that involves gruesome injuries, rescue attempts, sobriety testing, and even a funeral hearse, officials hope to make a sobering impression on those junior and senior high school students. This experience is so realistic that even though it's a role-playing um, simulation, it really gives everyone the true feelings and emotions behind something tragic like this. So it's important for us to really bring this into our schools and into the community. The crash may be staged, but the emotions are real. At the end of this powerful program, students are reminded about the dangers of drunk driving and texting. Wait to send that text message because no text message is that important that you could kill somebody or you could die for. And if you're going to drink, don't drive. Let somebody else drive for you or stay at home. Every 15 minutes is a result of months of coordination by the police, fire, emergency medical services, school division, Commonwealth's attorney, and many community partners. Each of the 11 city public high schools has hosted the event. While many are aware of the obvious dangers of drinking and driving, did you know that texting while driving is just as unsafe and illegal? Texting while driving is the most dangerous form of distracted driving. As ring dance quickly approaches, it is wise to begin conversations about behind the wheel safety. In order to get ready for junior ring dance this year, the National English Honor Society is passing out free thumb bands. We encourage the students to put them on their thumbs. They're passed out through 11th grade English classes, and they're a reminder to students not to text while they're driving. Making students aware of this national crisis is a lesson worth teaching. We're trying to tell our students through this type of program that there's a time and a place to text, and while they're behind the wheel is not the time. We're trying to encourage safe texting while they're out driving and celebrating the ring dance. Did you know that texting and driving makes your driving 
driving capability is worse than drunk driving. Throughout the week and on morning announcements, Cox High School's Wait to Text campaign was presented to the junior class by members of the National English Honor Society. The message is to not text and drive. So many teens text and drive and they just don't realize how distracting it is because texting and driving can lead to so many accidents. We want to let our juniors know that texting isn't as important as driving and that driving can lead to serious accidents um, and we just want everyone around the country to know that as well. Wait to text, it's not worth dying for, is the slogan of the campaign, a message certainly worth listening to. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reported that in 2010, driver distraction was the cause of 18% of all fatal crashes. Ocean Lakes High School recently held a seminar for students featuring the youngest aviation pilot to fly solo around the world. But the most powerful thing that happened for me was during this global flight, I realized I had the attention of young people. Meet Barrington Irving. He was 23 years old when he made his historic flight in 2007. He presented his inspirational message to students and staff. I'm able to share my story of uh, the challenges I had to overcome to fly around the world and also enlightening these students about the career opportunities available in math and science. Sponsored by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries America, Barrington spoke about the Dream and Soar program. He has presented his inspirational message to more than 10,000 students across the United States over the last five years. It's been an amazing experience. You know, Mitsubishi gives me the opportunity to travel to a number of schools who normally wouldn't have the opportunity uh, to hear my story or meet professionals uh, from the industry. And it's really given us a great way to inspire students at schools throughout the nation. In order to begin the next wave of efficiency in aviation. So you all will help me to, to learn about that as well. Ocean Lakes, home of the Mathematics and Science Academy, recognizes the importance of STEM education to the future of this country. They are committed to inspiring all students to seek a strong mathematics and science foundation, knowing that it is a path lined with opportunity. It was actually very important because I just am sort of interested in aviation and my father is actually an air traffic controller so I've always been around airplanes and stuff like that. Being an African American woman, seeing another African American male really achieving his goals, I was really inspired at how young he was and how he really didn't come from much but really did go for his goals and just stuck to it. There are millions of kids out there like Barrington who find science amazing, but lack the confidence or opportunity to take the next step. There is a big need in this country. Um, it's no secret. Uh, our students need to perform better in math and science. And we have that tremendous challenge. So what we're trying to do is to inspire students to realize uh, not only the career opportunities, but how this can really enhance the quality of their life. And if you would like to learn more about this aviation hero, log on to the website listed on your screen. And with that, we've come to the end of our show. But if you've missed something or would like to see it again, you can view this program online. Log on to vbgov.com media, then under the All Categories button, find and click on Access Virginia Beach. For everyone here at VBTV, I'm Mickey Sato. Thanks for watching.